Okay, so we're back with the 91 Accord, and today we're going to be talking about finding top dead center. First, let's talk about what that means. Top dead center is referring to when the number one piston reaches the height of its combustion cycle. <clears throat> now, what that is, is, is the start of the firing order, or the start of a complete cycle for the engine. Now, to do a lot of different repairs or alterations to the engine, taking out the distributor, head gasket, camshaft, things like that, you have to find top dead center first and position the engine to start a new cycle. Line everything up. Okay, so the first step is to find the number one cylinder. In this case, it's the one closest to the timing belt. Remove the spark plug wire and trace the wire back to the number one terminal on the distributor. You got four wires and four terminals this being the number one terminal. The next step is to remove the distributor cap. In this case there's three 10 millimeter bolts. One here, here, and underneath in the back. Once you remove those bolts, carefully slide the distributor cap off. Set that to the side. Okay, so this next part you can either do with the exhaust manifold on or off. In this case we're uh, replacing the whole exhaust so we already have it off. Now what you want to do is locate this little rubber cap here on the left side of the manifold. Remove that, just pull it out, and this is an access point that's going to help us find the top dead center. Now to find the top dead center, that's going to require us to manually turn over the engine. Now there's a couple ways you can do that. You can go from the pulley underneath by the timing belt, but uh, in this case there's no place to put a ratchet on that. So we're going to be going from the top. We still have all the belts connected and we're going to hook up a 20 millimeter wrench, open end wrench or a crescent wrench onto this bolt here and use that to manually turn over the whole engine. Alright, there's three things we're going to check to see when we reach top dead center. The first thing is the number one valve. Now, we're going to crank the engine over with the wrench like I showed you from this pulley here. There's a lot of different things you can put in there to measure when it's coming close to top dead center. You can put a depth micrometer, you can put a dial gauge. Today we're going to keep it simple and use a straw. Now the reason I'm not using a long screwdriver is because I don't want to scratch the tube when I put it in. Now, be careful when you put this in that it doesn't sit where the spark plug would sit. Make sure it goes all the way down and sits on top of the valve. And what this is going to do is as we turn the engine over you can see the straw going up and going down. That's going to let us know when we're getting close to top dead center. When the straw is at the highest point just before it goes back down. Now another way we're going to check when we're getting close to top dead center is by this rotor underneath the distributor. Now this metal contact here when you're on tap dead center should line up to where the number one spark plug wire terminal is. In this case it has two dots let me know that I'm there but most distributors I don't think have that. Now the way we're going to know positively when we reach top dead center is through this access point here. Now earlier we removed that rubber cap and we're going to look in there as we crank the engine over. Here you can see a little bit in there on the right side protruding out there's a little marker with a notch in it, a little silver marker on the right side. Now you can't see the actual markings in there on the left, so I drew up a diagram. Okay, so this is the perimeter of that box that we were just looking at in that box. On the right side, this stationary notch is how you're going to know when you're aligned with top dead center. Now, on this side, there's gear. There's a gear here with all these three markings on it. This is going to spin as you're cranking over the engine and we're looking for the white dot in this case I made a blue because I don't have a white marker 
the white dot next to the letter T to align with this mark right here. This is going to let us know when we hit top dead center. It'll look like this. This white dot with the T lined up just in the center of that notch. Now, this is doing it when the car is off by hand and manually cranking the engine. There's other ways to do this. If you have a timing light, you'd be looking for this red mark, 15 degrees before top dead center. So we're going by the white mark with the letter T. When that's in the middle of the notch, looks like this, top dead center. The straw method is only going to get us close to top dead center, and so is the distributor. This is positively knowing when you've reached top dead center.